Welcome back to the channel, and today Yuzi and I are going to be doing another crazy stunt where we tried to land a biplane on a moving flatbed truck. Now, uh, the thing with this is we are going to be not using magnets, unlike we did with the uh, the catching a plane mid-air stunt. We're going to be trying to land it legit on the flatbed, but uh, we are going to try to create some type of securing system like we did with the submersible aircraft carrier where we had these hooks that kind of grab the plane just to keep it from falling off after a successful landing. And I think this time around, Yuzi, you're building the biplane, right? That's right. All right, and I guess that leaves the flatbed truck to me. So, uh, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get building. Okay, so I got the hefty task of building this flatbed truck, and um, me and Yuzi, if we, with these challenges where we have to catch one thing with another, we don't really discuss dimensions. We just kind of hope. I don't know how wide his biplane wheelbase is going to be. So when it comes to catching him, I definitely want to make sure I'm wide enough that his wheels are going to fit on the flatbed. I'm carrying a runway with a truck is what's going on here. This isn't a flatbed. This is a runway. My idea for how I'm going to like catch him and things like this is uh, the front of the flatbed is going to have a flat panel that hopefully if he lands nice and soft here, he can just kind of gently push himself up into the flat panel without breaking himself. I have to estimate where his front biplane wings are, and I'm gonna have a bar or an arm that comes up on the sides of his body of the fuselage and behind the front wing. So that should secure him from rolling backwards and from falling off side to side, hopefully. So is this, I feel like this isn't wide enough. I might have to go one more uh, one more set of blocks. I'm, I'm gonna have to build a wide boy. All right, kind of funny. These wheels, these are the big wheels, the truck wheels, but they actually almost look kind of small with how big this flatbed already is. But uh, I'm gonna be using double wheels. Hopefully this isn't gonna be an issue with complexity because wheels are pretty complex as far as the, uh, the amount of complexity per object. I think it's like 10. All right, I think it's definitely gonna be a good idea to have suspension on these wheels. Maybe it'll soften the blow of the the landing all right so then the next area that needs wheels is going to be the front of the bed but this is also this isn't actually going to be attached to the bed this is going to be the back of the uh the truck with the trailer hitch so i need to add an attachment mechanism back here to make this kind of like a trailer so i think the easiest way is just to use a rotating servo and set the strength down to zero so it's just going to be a free rotating bearing and this looks like it's actually going to match up pretty well yeah, the flatbed was the easy part. Well, I didn't build the catching mechanism yet, but uh, shaping the front of this is going to be the actual challenge here. All right, the uh, the complexity counter has started here. You can see it's starting to take shape. This is this is a very... It, I went overly detailed with this one. I don't know why this is going to take forever to try to fill the rest of this in. But you know, I've already come so far. There's no turning back now. Uh, I'm starting to have some concerns for the complexity because there's still a lot that needs to be filled in here. And I haven't even... I haven't even started on the mechanism yet. I'm just trying to make the cab of this look nice. <laughs> oh, why did I do this to myself? This is what I get for using reference images instead of just uh, making stuff up as I go along. Normally, uh, I just make stuff up as I go along. Okay, I think I've uh, at least shaped the front. Looks kind of cool. Oh man, I need so many engines in this thing probably. <laughs> and you know what? Let me get the seat up uh, up where it needs to be. I'm not gonna... There's no interior to this. I am not doing an actual interior. Uh, I'm just gonna put a platform down here that is going to allow me to have my seat where the driver should be. All right, now let's slap a whole bunch of engines down here and see, can this thing drive the way that I intended it to? Oh, I just realized I never put steering on the front wheels. Uh, that might be a problem. Okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I'm gonna uh, double up the engine power. Not that I think it's gonna do much. Or I'm gonna triple up the engine power. 500, I can always reduce engines as needed. But still, look how I'm 37 miles per hour going uphill, at least. I should probably give this thing some rocket boosters. How cool would that be? The more I can match the speed, the, the, the biplane's gonna have to match my speed. So the, the faster I go, the less the biplane's gonna have to slow down and still be able to fly controllably. But let's work on the actual catching mechanism now. So I'm gonna assume if his nose is touching here, I think that the wings are gonna be around here. And I'm hoping that the wings are going to, uh, they're gonna stick out from this thing. All right, so when I press number one now, 
Oh boy, one of them is uh, not doing well. All right, now when I press number one, do you think his fuselage is gonna fit there? I may have built this too skinny. I'm hoping that's gonna uh, hook in behind the wings and keep the fuselage up in the front. I, I, any worst case scenario, I can move this back. I can move them out. I can adjust to whatever he's got going on. But uh, that's the idea. That should be all we really need. Oh, you know what? Taking off. I don't think he's gonna be able to take off unless I can go very fast. I think we're gonna need some boosters. All right, this thing is such an aerodynamic nightmare that even um, all of this eight thrusters makes virtually no difference in my uh, my speed. And the reason why that is happening is just, I just have so many flat walls that are just, they're just absorbing all of the air. So I'm just gonna put some panels in here that are purely designed just to get rid of those aerodynamic problems and i am already getting very very close to our uh complexity limit here all right i added this um i think that's gonna be okay all right uh so we were capping out at like 50 ish so now let's see let's add some thrust here because we're going uphill there's 50 60 70 first time breaking 70 for sure oh yeah so much better so much better Oh yeah, we were building a rocket truck now. <laughs> Less than, a, I mean, we're going highway speeds. All right, I'm at 698 out of 700 complexity. I think I got a pretty good paint job. Let's save this thing up and see uh, if it matches with whatever Yuzi build for his biplane. All right, scrap man, how'd it go? Did you finish? Yeah, I am all done, and um, I'm just about at the maximum complexity limit, 698 out of 700. <laughs> Oh, wow. So I'm guessing it's a pretty big build then. So let's uh, see it. Yep. All right. Here it is. There oh, we wow. go. So I didn't know how big your, your wheelbase was going to be. So hopefully I made this wide enough that it'll be able to fit you. This is the truck. It is rocket powered as well because uh, I figured the faster I can go, the easier it's going to be for you to fly uh, and keep your, your control. This has a lot of aerodynamic issues, so it's hard to break through that air. But um, right, okay. to catch you, I'm probably going to have to modify the dimensions of this depending on what you build. But the idea is that if you land on the back and then you press your nose against the, the front end of the trailer, then these will extend up and uh, cradle your fuselage and hopefully uh, tuck in behind your front wings, keeping you right at the front there. That's the plan, at least. All right. Okay, that makes sense. All yeah. right. Wow. I'm impressed. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, so I think it'll be fun. Okay, well, let me show you my biplane then. All right, let's see it. All right, here oh, it it's is. It's so small. It's the smallest little biplane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this might this might work. Yeah, uh, I think that would fit pretty well on this compartment. All right, I actually might need to move them forward a little bit. Uh, yeah, because your nose doesn't stick out that much. But yeah, that, that might actually work. How wide is your fuselage? Because I left four oh, blocks. It's very, very skinny. <laughs> well, yeah, I think this this could potentially work pretty well. Well, should we do we just try it and see what happens? <laughs> I, I think we should, yeah. Oh, look at that. I can actually jackknife myself. I wasn't sure if I could do that. <laughs> oh my god, my rockets just create a wall of smoke. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I don't want oh it shouldn't be too much smoke because I want to see where I'm landing. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'm just realizing like you're not even gonna be able to see. Oh no, I needed to get up this hill. See, that that is the right. other issue is uh, we were trying to think about what map to do this on and there's not a lot other than the test zone that has long, flat uh, roads. But this has the longest road out of any of the maps, so we chose this one. I'm just gonna watch where I'm going. I'm gonna watch the road like a responsible driver. And I'm just gonna hope uh, that you end up on my flatbed at some point. Yep, hopefully. I forgot to mention, but I actually have some air brakes, so this will make it a little easier. Hopefully. To, uh, slow down. All right, well, oh, I there you are. I'm not aligned properly, so I'm going <laughs> to yeah. swing back around. Oh, it is not a big target to land on at all. At least not from my perspective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slowing down, it's just kind of hard to align with you. Oh, the road is oh so... you're so slow. You're, you're flying really nice here. Oh, 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 oh. man. <laughs> That was actually was on a slight angle there yeah, on the road. That did look pretty good though. That was a pretty uh, steady approach. I'm gonna have to start turning a little bit. Oh yeah, well, thanks for oh, that. Oh, <laughs> here he comes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, go on, get to, oh. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, wait, wait. I mean, oh, eh, uh, oh, eh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Not quite. Oh, oh, uh, oh. 
Uh, okay, no, not quite. Oh, no, okay, all right. Abort. Yeah, not the smoothest, not the smoothest landing, but surprisingly still intact. This is looking promising. Here we go. Brace for impact. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh, oh just I, a little I bit broke off. my prop. Oh, <laughs> no, your prop is gone. <laughs> I definitely think the biplane was the good idea for this because I have quite a lot of lift. Makes yeah. It a lot easier. Yeah, I can't wait to try it out. See, see how the thing feels. Having a hard time controlling my throttle right now. I am on controller, so I do have the variable. All right, oh. well, oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I thought you were there little, sooner. Oh, oh. A little too early. Ah, oh, dang right. it. <laughs> we're so close, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Well, don't do anything too drastic now. Yeah, subtle, subtle movements. Subtle, nice and easy. I do have your controls. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh just no. Just, oh. So close. Slightly too far. Easy now. Easy. Oh, okay. You're looking oh. good. Slightly over to the... Oh, oh, oh. Catch me, oh. catch me. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that looks you good. Did it. You caught me. Oh, the <laughs> dimensions actually feel kind of nice, too, as far as the alignment goes. All right. Well, I'm on. You are yeah. on. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna try to uh, turn around here at the other end of the bridge, and then I don't know if you're gonna be able to take off. Like, I'm gonna use my boost and try to like just go as fast as I can, and uh, let's see if you can take off from here. Gonna get some speed first. Oh! Oh! It you me fell! Out. <laughs> <laughs> get back in. So if you pitch up with your tail, will your tail go down? There we go. Yeah. All right, ready. And release. Oh, oh no, no, that did not go well at all. I didn't know if like releasing is gonna be a thing because you have no runway. You have no. You can't go forward. I'm your only forward. I think it is possible though. If you I think try and so? land on you once again and you catch me, we'll give it a quick retry here. Lining up nicely. We gotta Keep hurry up. We got a hill in front of me. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, <laughs> off. All right, come on. I got this. Oh, that looked... Ooh. Oh, 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 that was nice. Wow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just, just drop you in there. There we go. A little better. Yep. Okay, we're on. We're All on right. board. I'm going to speed up. Are you ready to pull up? Yep. Let's All do right. It. Three, two... Oh, I can see actually the issue. I'm in your oh, wings. Oh, the pistons are in the wings. Oh, okay, there, yeah, there you go. Forward. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. All right, ready, and pitch up. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, all right, yeah. that was great. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> all right. Mission successful, yay. All right, well, I think it's time. Uh, I want to give that a try, see if I can land on the flatbed now. Okay, well, let me just land here, because I actually have a little <laughs> present for you. Is it a um, keyboard and mouse version? <laughs> That is right, <laughs> and uh, it has a new paint job as well. So, oh, you uh, gave me a paint time. job. All right, look at that. There you oh, go. This one right. is for you, Scrap Man. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Shift is your air brakes. Uh, space is to go. I don't know if you want that on a toggle or not. I didn't know. No, nah, uh, I usually don't have toggle. All right. Yeah. Looks looks pretty simple. I'm gonna get up in okay. the air here. Yeah. Do a repair there for you. I broke it when I got out. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Your air brakes kind of seem almost like the perfect speed. That's nice. I'll just drive across the highway here and uh, hope for the best. Yep. All right, I'm on the approach. This is a nice biplane you got here. Thank you. Okay, yeah, these air brakes are pretty good. Just try to figure out when to when to use them. Oh. Yeah, just get get a feel for the plane first, I guess. Yep. Oh, here, Wait. Oh, is it? Oh, the landing oh. gear is right there. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I lost a little bit too much with the air brakes. All right, I'm gonna have to wait for you to get around this turn. All right, where's the? There's the next straight section. I see it. I'm gonna line up with that. Yeah, this is a fun biplane. To fly. I like it. It's very smooth, yeah. Very proud of it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh I went a little bit too fast. <laughs> That's all right. We have plenty of road. All right. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, I don't think I'm going to pull up in time. Ah. Oh, oh screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do a loop, but it didn't have enough speed. I'm ready with the uh, the clamp. Oh. Yeah, just throttle oh, the engine. Oh. Wow. Okay. This is, this is a little bit harder than I was expecting. On a bit of an angle, but. We should be fine. Oh, 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 push, there push, There we push. go, there we go. 
Oh, oh no. no! I was at the slightest angle and it went into my wings. I felt like I used you as a runway there. Like I landed at the back and rolled to the front. Oh, the that approach was... was good. The clamping oh, wasn't. Look how much damage so that good. did. I know. Look at the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a useful one, though. Realizing that I should just land at the back and kind of roll forward feels like the way to go. All right, I'm coming in. Uh oh. Oh, oh I lost oh. my tail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, 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 quickly. Oh, no, not quite. Take off. Careful of Take the off. buildings here. Uh, Careful of the buildings. Oh, he's good. He's good. All right. He's all right. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going for it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh a little bit off to the left. Uh oh, we're running out of road. We're running out of road. Oh, abort, oh, abort, I'm abort. Not, I'm not looking <laughs> at the road. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 lost the propeller. That was not a good landing. Oh, dude, this looks so awesome. Oh, oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I turned oh. there. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. All right, we're going to have to turn around, it looks like. I, uh, I'm That's taking right. a lot longer on this one. All right. I'm coming in. Keep, keep on the gas. Oh, uh, right. get, oh, tap the button a little okay. bit. Just tap it a little bit. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, keep going. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Ooh, all right, that one felt good. That was good, yeah. All right. How uh, do you hit, feel? I'm, I feel good. Hit the thrust. Let's go as fast as we can. All right, and then let me know when you're going to release. All right, we're just going to go off this hill. Three, oh, two, boy. one. Oh, go, no. Go, fly. Oh. <laughs> fly. <laughs> it worked. There it actually go. worked. There we go. Oh, that felt good. I'm so glad that happened. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to take off there. I know. Minute. I was like, uh oh, I'm kind of like stuck into the back here. All right. We did it successfully both ways. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, that one wow. felt like a really nice landing. No damage or anything. Here he comes. Oh, oh. Uh, I did, did better <laughs> landing on you. <laughs> All right. Another successful stunt challenge, co-op stunt challenge by using and Scrap Man. Uh, people should definitely leave some suggestions if they have other cool stunts um, or, or 1v1 challenges that they'd like to see on the channels. And uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.